Marty McGibbon is a resilience expert. She's lived it. I, I was a, a prisoner of organized crime in a foreign country. I've been beaten within an inch of my life. I've been raped. Uh, I was a drug addict for years and I was homeless on the streets. Uh, and not the kind of like trust fund baby homeless thing like where you're sleeping on your friend's couch. I was homeless like, under the bridge, uh, sleeping in abandoned houses, uh, that kind of homeless for a year. Few speakers have a personal comeback story as riveting and inspirational as Marty's. She hit absolute rock bottom in every way, but emerged from adversity with a sense of humor intact and a deeper inner wellspring of joy, enthusiasm that is contagious to listeners. Audiences come away armed with simple, effective techniques they can use to transform their lives. What had happened to me, this series of events that had happened to me, had knocked me down and had affected my perception of myself, other people, and the world. And I was living in that negative perception. And then one day, I had an epiphany. I realized that I held the key to my happiness, my own happiness, and to my future. And I knew that I could change. I discovered that the key to the past and the future, and just the key to everything, can be found in the present moment. And with this realization, I thought, you know, everything is right now. Author of the Amazon's number one bestseller, Never Give In To Fear, Laughing All The Way Up From Rock Bottom, interviews by Investor Business Daily and Entrepreneur, articles in over 150 magazines, stand-up comic, appeared at Hollywood Improv and the Comedy Store, certified mental health professional, member of the National Speakers Association, and I began to see myself as employable, happy, successful, and things began to change really quickly. So I did it, discovered the magic. And I just kept applying that every day using this program of daily renewal and positive self-talk. People of courage know that courage is not the absence of fear. It's the resistance to fear. It's the conscious decision to move through the fear to the objective. There are only two ways to live your life. One is as if nothing is a miracle, and the other is as if everything is. Einstein said that. And now that I've said it, Einstein and I have got something in common. I know that anyone in this audience can make positive changes in life, no matter how low your low point.